Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. We are actually sitting in Paula's kitchen. This is our family room. This is Paula. What's going on today? Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. <laughs> Glad to have you with us. Beautiful spring day in Las Vegas. Yes, and we are going to go down to the strip. Paula is going to do one of her special Paula's breakfast this morning. Yeah, I'm not cooking someone else's. It's breakfast at the Mirage. This adventure starts right now. Been a few weeks since we headed off into the sunrise for an early morning breakfast on this trip, and we're really glad to see these beautiful resorts glowing in the rising sun today, barely past 6 a.m. There's a lot to be said for being up and out this early, especially on the Las Vegas Strip. Today, though, we are going to earn our breakfast. First stop, we are heading to the Bellagio Conservatory to capture the spring 2021 display. Welcome to springtime celebrations around the world at the fabulous Bellagio Conservatory. We got a peek at this theme the weekend just prior to its debut in March, and we were really looking forward to getting back in here for a closer look. The West Bed represents the famous Chelsea Flower Show in England, and the first thing you notice is the two oversized hummingbirds, beaks poised above equally oversized flowers. The colors are vibrant and the birds are exquisite. Front and center in this display is a greenhouse filled with butterfly sculptures and more than 100 live butterflies. The greenhouse measures 18 by 28 feet. Surrounding it is a beautiful water feature with abundant tulips and spring blooms. And this captivating boat. Over here in the South Bend is a recreation of the Kukanaw Festival in the Netherlands. The wooden shoes and the windmill certainly give this theme away, don't you think? Not to mention all these bulbs in flower. The windmill is the centerpiece, symbolizing strength and a promising future. For us, one of the most fun things of being in the conservatory this early is watching the horticultural team at work, just like this fellow up on the lift pruning a tree to look its best. The other captivating feature of this display is the koi in the pond, the same koi we saw in the Chinese New Year theme a few months ago. Always happy to spend a minute watching these guys. Now in the middle is a representation of the Cherry Blossom Festival in Washington, D.C., USA. And we happened to catch the gardeners installing a couple of fresh trees just as we arrived at the garden. There are 12 in total, and they must replace them as the blossom fade so that each guest sees the display at its best. This little slice of Americana features long-stemmed red roses, which are the nation's flower, flags, and elegant statuary and columns. Absolutely beautiful, and here's another behind-the-scenes shot of the team making sure it stays that way every single day. In this area is an homage to Thailand's Songkran Water Festival, a celebration where people splash water on each other to purify themselves at the new year. There is a Buddhist temple, a stunning golden elephant against a backdrop of golden palm trees, and a carpet of beautiful bromeliads to frame it all. Above the garden are three seven-tiered Thai regal umbrellas, also in gold. 
It took 75 team members to create these four magnificent themes. There are a whopping 30,000 flowers and plants in all. And if you're in town, come and see it soon because it's only going to be here until May 22nd. Okay, folks, on to the main event. A quick trip up the strip and we land at the Mirage. We're here for breakfast at the pantry, but first a quick sweep through the lobby on our way. The Mirage Lobby has always been a standout for two things. The 53-foot-long, 8-foot-tall aquarium behind the registration desk, home to a thousand species of fish. But for some reason, it's not lit this morning. Very, very odd. The other feature has always been the glorious vases of flowers on display tables in the lobby, but those are gone now as well. There are a couple of arrangements at the check-in desk, but the lobby is looking pretty plain this morning. If you've seen our earlier breakfast at videos, you know we'd like to show you a clip or two of the workers tidying up the place for the day. So, here you go. Step out of the lobby, say hi to the mermaids, and you're off to Polynesia through Mirage's magnificent atrium. The atrium is lit by a fabulous skylight window and is a profusion of palms, bromeliads, and other tropical plantings, all enhanced by water features that transport you to the tropics. This spot has been a standout since the day the place opened and never disappoints. All right, we are off through the casino and back near the guest elevators for our breakfast spot this morning. This is what brought us to the Mirage today, their legendary pantry. The pantry opens at 7 a.m. and there was already a line waiting because folks know that the food in here is sublime. Breakfast is their claim to fame and it's available anytime although these days the pantry is only open till mid-afternoon. At the pantry, the food is homespun and the decor is bright and inviting. We just love this bright white and all the touches on the walls. This is such a cozy country spot, it's hard to believe you're on the Las Vegas Strip. everyone nice to see you this morning glad to be back doing some breakfast adventures here at the mirage i've eaten at the pantry before i've met my brother here for breakfast many times i was here at 7 a.m right when they opened sitting at the counter having myself an omelet so i have ordered their omelet with any three ingredients you choose i went for ham swiss and bell pepper and it's $20 for this plate of beautiful food sitting at the counter. Looks fluffy, let's give it a try. Mmm, fluffy heaven, really, really good. Looks like red skin potato hash browns. Let me try one of those. Big bites. Mmm. Flavored with onion. Wow, those are really, really, really good. Yum. I always do thumbs up for breakfast because I love it. I admit. After breakfast, the outdoor beckons, especially at 8 o'clock on a sparkling spring morning. We stop to pay our respects at Siegfried and Roy Plaza on the northern edge of the Mirage property. 
the world-famous magicians took the stage in Mirage's theater in 1990 along with their menagerie of wild animals and performed to sold-out audiences until Roy's injury in 2003. We have recently lost both of these Las Vegas legends and their shoes will never be filled. Let's take a walk along the boulevard in front of Mirage. Talk about curb appeal. Look at this sparkling lake, the waterfalls, the volcano which erupts nightly on the hour from 8 to 11 p.m., the dolphin statues. This place is a wonder. The Mirage opened in 1989, and at the time, it was the largest hotel in the world and the most expensive in history. This Polynesian paradise was, of course, the brainchild of Steve Wynn and is credited with reshaping Las Vegas. The gold windows are, in fact, real gold dust. And the Y-shaped design has been copied by many other strip hotels since this one. Mirage, even at 32, is still a beautiful, beautiful property. Well, good morning, gang. I am standing out front of Mirage on the Las Vegas Strip. It's a little bit after 8 a.m. on a Thursday morning. A little cool and breezy today on this April day. I just wanted to give you my initial impressions of the pantry. I have eaten there before, as I said, but not um, in recent times, certainly not in the past year. It was interesting. The food was absolutely delicious. Um, service was strange. I had two gentlemen waiting on me at the uh, bar top or countertop. Neither one of them understood English very well, and so there were some misunderstandings. I actually got my tea, believe it or not, my tea water in a mason jar, which it would have been impossible to hold and drink. And I said, well, don't you have coffee cups? <laughs> anyway, uh, I asked the gentleman for breakfast tea, and he didn't understand me. He brought out five different kinds of tea bags, laid them on the counter, and said, which one do you want? Uh, one of them clearly said breakfast tea. So interesting uh not the greatest service but certainly delicious food and a really pretty 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 location at the pantry so check it out sometime and i have to say right at 7 a.m there was already a line waiting to get in so it's uh pretty well known Alrighty, i am off to work this morning thanks for hanging with me on breakfast at the mirage talk to you soon well i tell you what i wish i'd have been there that looked fantastic I really do love that room, and I don't think you've ever been to the pantry, have you? No, I've, I've been there numerous I've walked times. by it. I've filmed it a couple times on the outside, but I've never been in, no. It's an early morning thing, and you know we did have a staycation at Mirage Book that, that got, went by the wayside. We're going to have to go back there just so we can go to the pantry together. Absolutely. Uh, this was a terrific video. Paul did a great job on it. All the uh, photography and everything is all on her. She did a terrific job on that. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, hope to see you again next week, right? Definitely. I also want to say I really did love the conservatory. I always love it, but this particular spring display with the four different international flower shows, I was a huge, huge fan. It is really, really exquisitely beautiful. In there. It is. It's gorgeous. All right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. I don't think there's anything else to say. Do you? Nope, not really. Uh, Paula's Kitchen Season 3 will be returning soon. Stay tuned. All right. Hope you had a good time. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Everybody.